We think about the labyrinth in terms of a life journey, that the path that enters in to the labyrinth is a path that doesn't require decision points. It's not a confusing path, but it does require focus and it does require taking one step at a time. And so that path leads into a center place and we think about the walk inward as a releasing time. The center space we think of as receiving space where you can be still or walk or in our labyrinth here in the Glen and Wilma Pettyjohn garden, touch the water and experience a moment of refreshment, of ease. And then the walk back out, we think of as returning to the world with the experience of the labyrinth with lessons that may have been learned. Uh, there are times that days get very stressful for patients and staff. And so I take those days to go walk on the labyrinth. And I find out that when I start on the labyrinth, I might be in a hurry because my day's busy and my heart's racing and I'm thinking a million things. And by the time I start walking through the labyrinth, the peacefulness of it allows me to slow down. And by the time I get to the center, I realize I'm breathing easy. I'm thinking about things that mean a, a lot to me and where I need to focus in my life. It helps me reflect and center and relax. And by the time I get out of the labyrinth, I realize I'm relaxed and ready to face the rest of my day and answer the problems that I needed to solve. It really hit home for me when my grandmother was an actual patient here at the hospice home and my brother who was in Japan was able to come home and spend the last few days with her and as a family we were able to go up and walk when it was a very stressful time and just find peace and knowing where she was going and that we would be okay without her. And I enjoy having it here just as on a daily basis. If you're stressed or if you just need a moment, you can go and it is just a wonderful, releasing, peaceful place. People talk about using the labyrinth as a way to reflect and renew, uh, re-energize themselves. Um, it's often thought of as a way of um, spiritual renewal as one is walking into the labyrinth one thinks about the the issues and struggles in one's life that you're trying to let go of or to release the center of the labyrinth that's sometimes thought of as a place to release those burdens that you've carried in and to think about renewal for the future i often have people who come out of the labyrinth saying that they feel lighter they feel as if burdens have been lifted from them Coming up in December, we have our luminary walk here. Um, the path will be lit by luminaries from Ronald McDonald House.